Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today, we're going to start my read-through of the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 2. Here we have the 11 books in the Series 2. And the very first one is From the Legend of Beale by Mary Statton, 1975. From the Legend of Beale was printed twice in the Ace Science Fiction Specials, once in 1975 and another time in 1976. The only other printing came in 2007 from Imaginal Fiction Press. Let's take a look at all the covers for The Legend of Beale. So my copy was the first issue. It was number one in the series. It was $1.25 and it was 333 pages. No cover artist is noted. The second printing had $1.50 on the cover. That's how I know I have a first printing. So you can see on this cover here, if I go for a close-up, that this one was $1.25. The story starts as an exploratory mission. A probe has identified structures on exoplanet MC6. The architecture has domes and pyramids and different geometric shapes. Due to the other stops that need to happen on this mission, they only have 72 hours to explore the planet. Now in the cover for the book, you see it more as a sphere, but in the book it's described as a dome. Otherwise, I think that the cover is very accurate. This exploration is actually a framework for the real story that happens in the middle of the novel. The frame's protagonist is a UN explorer named Howard Scott. He is willing to risk everything to find out what these geometric structures and those who created it are. This novel uses different types of typography for different sections or different people speaking. For example, for the first 69 pages of the novel, the typography is italic. I got tired of the italicized topography after about five pages, so I couldn't believe that it went 69 pages. But that's the framework topography. Then we have a technological being, an AI of sorts that seems to be an entire planet. Its topography is all capitals. And it's printed out as if it was a computer talking in 1970s. So we have italics, we have capitals. What's next? We have experimental topography as well. And then for the story that is in the middle of the novel, I would say the main story of this novel about Beale is just in regular topography. So the planet itself is run by this Theocdean AI entity that's from another planet. On this planet, there's a biological and genetic engineering of children. A hundred children are set to be born. They are injected with a chemical that is supposed to help them mutate. Several children die. Others live. Watching over the children are mentors. These mentors can't take part in the children's lives until the children ask for them. One child in particular shows a lot of promise. This is the title character, Beale. Her mentor, Mikran, goes above and beyond what a mentor should do. As the young child, Beale, starts to suffer seizures, Mikran starts to step in. Eventually, Beale escapes the structure where she's being raised, and Mikran follows her. Together, they strike out on a quest across the planet. Danger arises in the form of an indigenous people called the Higgites. At the same time, Theokdian is hunting for Beale. But what has this got to do with our framework story? 
Well, it does come together in the end, and we start to see some of that framework story coming back into the novel. I think that's as much as I want to say about the plot. This is a first novel from Staten. Thirty years later, she wrote another novel, and as far as I can tell, that is it. As I've shown, she uses experimental typography in trying to tell her story. Sometimes her descriptions seem to be overblown. And the plot elements don't seem to really mesh as we'll get towards the end. There is some interesting world building, and there is some racial commentary in this book. This story seemed to have an ambition to be an Arthur C. Clarke type story. Strange structures on another planet. An unusual connection to people of another time and a transcendent type ending. Staten certainly was ambitious, but it just doesn't really work. I give it 5 out of 10. So this is not a real promising start to the A Science Fiction Special Series 2. Well, our next one will be Red Tide. And once again, it's a debut novel of two novelists, Dee Dee Chapman and Dolores Lehman Tarzan. Stay tuned for my next video. We'll see if it's any better. So have you happened to read from The Legend of Beale? What do you think? Until next time, keep reading.